Yeah. Throughout our pandemic here, we in Connecticut emergency rooms were the frontline defense of treatment in COVID-19 cases, and they had to serve also as ERs the whole time. Joining us to talk about emergency medicine in this time is Dr. David Anthony Biono, Chief of Emergency Medicine at the Hospital of Central Connecticut. Doctor, welcome. Thank you. So when did you start to see a decline in visits to the ER, and where do things stand right now? We started seeing a decline in March, mostly mid-March, as the COVID cases in Connecticut started to ramp up. We saw a decline of visits to the emergency department at the same time. And that was really due to people were afraid to come to the hospital. They thought they might get sick here. Um, fortunately, over the last two months, we've been ramping back up. And we're about now to about 70 to 75 percent of our normal volume right now. And as an ER physician, what were the concerns with the drop in people coming in for treatment? The biggest concern is that people were avoiding needed emergency medical care. They were staying home because they were afraid. So people, especially with people with signs or symptoms of heart attacks or strokes, they were afraid to come in and they were delaying their care. And when you delay care for something that's a true medical emergency, you do risk you know, possible death or permanent disability. Yeah, it's so scary. All right, let's talk about precautions that you've taken in the ER to keep everybody safe. So our staff, everyone is um, screened before you come to work. We have temperatures taken, recorded. We have a screening um, process that goes to ask questions if you're sick. If anyone is sick, they don't come to work. If you fail to screen, you're not entering the building. Also, everyone wears a face mask, so we're protecting our patients. And we have hand sanitizers everywhere. We've always done that. That's just added. So it's really face masks, hand sanitizers, screening. And what about the experience of someone coming into the ER with an emergency situation? That process, just those added things, is it, has the process changed in any other way? Yeah, it's, it's those added things. But visitors, we now started opening up visitors to the ED. We allow one visitor per patient. Um, but they are all screened, so they get their temperature taken. They um, do the screening questions. They have to wear a mask. If they fail those questions, though, or have a fever, they're not allowed in the, into the um, building. And let's talk about how your staff is doing at the Hospital of Central Connecticut. Are you proud of everybody? Are they get you know? Are they get through the wave okay? Yes, I'm. I'm very proud. In the beginning, there was a lot of fear and anxiety, but people did what they needed to, and they plowed through, and they showed a lot of courage. Because with us, it was all unknown. Um, but everybody did really well. I'm really proud of our team. What about support from the community? How did that make you feel? These are some of my favorite stories. Yes, the, the support was amazing. We had so much food delivered to us oh. during the, the first few months, and it really was amazing, and it was nice to see. Oh, well, it's great to hear. Keep up the good work on the front lines, Doctor, and thank you very much for taking the time to be with us today. We know you're busy. Thank you. Thank you.